These days, it's pretty easy to travel long distances by car or plane. And it's true that there's a lot to complain about. Cramped airline seats, bumpy roads, bad motels. But just for a moment, compare those inconveniences to the conditions experienced by John Duncan, who passed this way by horse-drawn wagon in 1818. The roads through which we drove had so shaken up our wagon that after nine hours jolting, one of the straps gave way and we were brought to a stand. Were the roads here today so bad that your vehicle literally fell apart? Probably not. And no matter how many people and their luggage you're able to cram into your minivan or SUV, it's never going to be as cramped and uncomfortable as a stagecoach in western New York 200 years ago. The heavier kinds of boxes and trunks are fastened behind upon the frame of the carriage, but the smaller articles and the mail bag are huddled under the seats on the inside to the great annoyance of the passengers, who are frequently forced to sit with their knees up to their mouths or with their feet insinuated between two trunks, where they are most lovingly compressed whenever a vehicle makes a lurch into a rut. Today, even the humblest motel room is likely to come equipped with a TV, private bathroom, and clean sheets. Now imagine stopping at a 19th century inn after a long, hard day of travel, and being told by the innkeeper that of course the sheets are clean, they've only been slept in a few times since they were last washed. <laughs>